Hello and welcome back to my channel. This isn't a vlog because all we're doing is chit chatting and doing my makeup. Today I'm doing my makeup while answering questions from Instagram because I asked you guys to ask me questions on Instagram. I guess I could do that on Snapchat too. Could I do it on here too? I don't know, but Instagram's always been the place. Whatever, but for now it's from Instagram. If you wanna check out my Instagram, my Snapchat, whatever, it's linked down below always. Why do I look better in the mirror? whiter in the camera that's so offensive and rude we're going to do my makeup together ew do you remember the days of youtube when we would all keep our makeup in those nine drawers from ikea huge like how did we have that much makeup also i'm very insecure right now because i don't have lashes but i made that choice i made that decision i also bought those lashify at home lash extensions but i haven't put them on yet because of course i'm procrastinating that because it seems like a daunting giant project i kind of want to let my natural lashes breathe a little bit because they have not seen the light of day for 12 years so maybe give them a little air, I don't know. I love how I ask questions, but I could talk about anything for, I could just start talking. And we would, we would fill this time because I can talk for days. I yap like it's my fucking job. It is my job. I'm a certified yapper. I need to, I, we need to first establish my makeup routine before I start answering questions because I won't even know what's going on. And I guarantee I'll miss a step. First thing I do in my makeup routine is prime my face, but the first primer that I use is always moisturizer. A thick, juicy, good moisturizer, the perfect primer. I will first put on a moisturizer, done. Then I'll go in with this primer, which is the Smashbox Photo Finish Correct Anti-Redness. This really is giving me deja vu for when I used to do Get Ready With Me videos back when I was in high school. Oh, I loved old YouTube. This is why I can't multitask. I, we haven't even asked a question. I already, I already don't know what's going on. I don't really know what I do in my makeup routine. I just do things. Then I go in with a concealer that's lighter than my... In my head, this is the lighter concealer. This is the skin tone girl when i'm tanner when i put self tanning drops this makes more sense but we're gonna pretend that it makes sense right now i don't know the method to my madness but this is the kosas revealer concealer super creamy brightening concealer per okay that's the word i was looking for brightening right and this is in the shade do you really care what shade it is okay well it's shade 3.2 if you do i'm gonna take this and put it under my eyes and you know on the places that I want to, I don't know. Also, don't ask me why I put it right here. No fucking clue. Did I learn that from a video? Maybe, I don't know. Take a little makeup sponge and just, you know. Why do people ask me if I want kids? That's a funny question. Maybe it's because I'm 26. Okay, well, let's answer that question. First question, right out the gate, out the jump. Do you want kids? I have a whole opinion on this. I think that people have kids for the wrong reason. I think people have kids because they think it's a societal pressure and they think that's what you do. That's what you have to do. But I think it's a bit selfish if you have kids and you don't fully know what you're getting into. You're raising a human for 18 years and beyond and you're very much responsible for how they turn out. I think because I'm very aware of my flaws laws and my childhood traumas and the things that can fuck up a child. I think I would be a great parent. I think I'm too selfish to have kids right now. I am on the fence if I want kids because I, on the one hand, really do want kids because I love a little traditional white picket fence life. I want me a little husband. We have a nice cute house. We have our kids. But at the same time, do I really want that? I don't know. I think I do, but I would like to wait on it until I'm absolutely certain that I do want them. Do you know what I'm saying, vibes? We'll just see when I get married, who I get married to, what the vibe is. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay, pause, intermission. Then I'm taking the darker concealer that's my skin tone. Sure, this is the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer. We're just gonna cover up blemishes. Okay, that's what we're doing. But anyway, as I was saying, I wanna adopt kids because not a puppy, not a newborn, because I think it's just so unfair how kids that are like older than a baby and not fresh out the womb, they just, they have the shit end of the stick. They don't get a chance because everyone wants the kitties, the puppies, they want the babies and these kids deserve love. I don't know. I really wanna adopt because to me, I'll love it just the same and I think a lot of people don't adopt and yet they have a problem with people. We're not going to get into politics but I think a lot of the people that are pro-life, have you adopted a child vibes? 
Do you even think about adopting a child? What about the system that the kids are in? That's a really long-winded way of saying, I don't know. I just know that I'm not gonna have kids until I know for certain that I am healed and I can provide a good life for the child or children. So concealer, concealed, if that did anything, sure. Then I'm gonna take this bad boy. This is the key to everything, the key to life. I love this. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, super light version of a foundation and I'm obsessed with it, but I really hate that it's a doe foot applicator because that's giving very much bacteria. This is in the shade four. How is my battery already 50%? We just started this, guys. We just started this. Oh, my skin is so white. It's horrendous. All right, I'm gonna have to put the hair back just for this part. I use a little brush for this. It depends on the vibe. Sometimes I use a beauty blender. Sometimes I'll use a brush. It really depends on what I'm feeling in that day, but I'm using a little, I think it's called a stippling brush. I don't, girl, I don't know. This is all like archived memories from when I used to do old YouTube. So if I'm wrong, I don't care. Little intermesh to talk about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace makes it easy to get started by choosing from one of the many templates designed for every category that allows you to customize the look and add in your own content. You do also have the option to design your own template, and this is my website that houses everything relating to my personal brand. A goal of mine is to eventually launch my own online store, and Squarespace already has that feature available to me when I'm ready. So you can sell your products in an online store, whether they're physical, digital, or service products. And speaking of service products, they also have a built-in scheduling feature that lets you create and accept appointments through your website. Scheduling function has everything needed to manage your schedule, accept payments, send auto reminders, and showcase your services. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Sienna Mirabella to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. This is a funny one. I've gotten a lot of questions about dating. Do you enjoy being single or do you prefer having a thing on the side? I love that, and I love how you worded that vibes because I, here's another long-winded fucking answer for something so so simple. I love being in a relationship, but I've learned that when I'm in a relationship, I put too much energy into the other person and I am unable to be like living my life fully and independently without like fully conjoining with someone else. And I just know that that is not what I need right now. And I can't do the half ass thing unless I don't have feelings for you, then it's very fucking easy. But if I like you, I'm like in love with you. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm like Serena Vanderwoodson, okay? I will put my heart and soul into another person. But I know that if I don't do that, then I don't like you that much. You're really not that. You're not that guy. You're not him. That is when I do love dating because I love dating guys that I don't really like because it's the best of both worlds. I think this is how men are. This is how men are. They, they sleep around and they like date girls, but they don't really care about them. And then when they find the bitch that they do care about, they get in a relationship. That makes a very much a lot of sense, but that's how I am. That's the phase in the era that I'm in right now of where I love dating and I love men and like I need to have like a little, a crush or else it's just, life is boring without a little crush. So I need that, but not like a real one. I know that that's probably not the healthiest thing, but it's healthy for me, bitch. So that's all I really care about. My life revolves around me. So thankfully I haven't met anyone since my last person uh, that I really like that much because they're not really taking anything away from my schedule at all. I like dating, but not anyone that I really like. <laughs> um, so yes, I do like having a little thing on the side and I love a little roster, but life is just, life is just meaningless without a little roster, but not somebody I'm too invested in because then no, 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 no. Then that crosses the line and then all hell breaks loose. So love being single, love a side piece. My mom's gonna watch. Actually, I act like my mom doesn't know this. I tell my mom everything. I know she's gonna watch this and be like, yeah, <laughs> wait, let's get to the next part. We're gonna take a little contour moment. This is the Rose Ink Cream Contour. Gonna just put this places. I, I completely forgot what we were talking about. Oh yeah, my mother knows all of this because I tell her everything a little too much. She's like, bitch, please. I didn't ask for all this information. And I'm like, you know what? Certified yapper, you're gonna hear it. I should use a beauty blender, but for some reason, I wanna use this, I, I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea why I do what I do with my makeup or in life, but just doing it. Updates on Sims videos coming back. Let's talk about it because I have spent the past, I don't know how long, making my own save file because I want that for when I do my Sims videos. And also the reason that I haven't done Sim videos besides that that's not done is that I don't want to start on that channel and like upload a couple parts and then be inconsistent. I, I don't wanna do that. I want to, when I start that, I'm going consistent the whole time. I need to be that level of consistent and I won't settle for less, but I know that I've been in a very bad 
bad mental space lately and it's really affecting my work on here. So I, taking on that too, can't, can't. And I don't wanna be inconsistent. So I need to get it together a little more, which I can do. And then those videos will start, but very, very soon. Instead of continuing the LP that I had on this channel, I'm just going to start a new one, but we're using the same, the same girly, but the guy is different. I think his name is the same. I named it the same, whatever. But I'm very excited. I I love Sims. I love Sims. And I think that you're gonna love the Sims videos because I love playing the Sims and I love everything about making it pretty and fun and whatever. So Sims very soon, but I'm making my save file and I love it. It's delicious. I'll show you in a vlog. That's what I'm doing. So Sims videos are coming back soon, but there's no exact date in mind because I'm not gonna say that and then be like, oh, just kidding. <laughs> it's not actually coming out on this date. No, you'll know. You'll know when it's coming out, but it's very soon. My camera's dying. Then next, I go back with this little lighter girly, right? And we go back on the, oh, we go back on the high points and over here because love the vibes. Let's jump back into some questions. Advice for living alone. My roommate just moved in with her boyfriend and I'm so lonely, I hate it. I love that for you actually, because now you have the freedom to choose when to be social. I don't know how it is for extroverts, but I'm an introvert, so I need my alone time. I just can't be around people 24 seven, but I need to be around people. I go a little insane if I don't see people. I've lived by myself my entire adult life. I love it. Of course, there's moments of being lonely. If you make it a priority to schedule in seeing your friends or doing things, even if they're alone, but out in the world that's still around people, it can help with that. So like taking a workout class, but if you're doing things that are with other people, but alone, it can also help with loneliness. So if you don't have any friends that you can hang out with, I went through a period of where I really didn't have a single person that lived close to me to actually hang out with. So going and doing things that are social but by yourself like going to a cafe and you just are observing people while you're doing something else pause now I'm gonna take a dollop of the darker concealer I don't know why I choose this one but I am and I'm gonna put it on my lids because like this is a base I guess it's a primer anyway so then I'm gonna beauty blend that bitch out then I'm gonna take this is the most beautiful packaging I've ever seen in my life but this is the Laura Mercier powder translucent powder and I'm gonna take her and I love the glow I don't like matte anything but under my eyes those crease. I take a little bit of powder and I set that and also my lid. This brush, I don't know what it is, a little bit of powder and then we're just gonna, is this the right thing to do and the right place to use it and the right way to set your powder? Maybe not, probably not, but it's what I do. Does my makeup look good at the end of the night? I don't actually know. I don't remember. Wow, the eye bags are prominent. I have never had eye bags this bad. Is this what turning 26 did? I turned 26 and suddenly bags, luggage, baggage or it's probably because like i haven't gotten good sleep in like five years but i don't know then i'm gonna also take the powder same brush because i'm lazy and i'm gonna set my lids with this as well where i am on that question oh yes scheduling time with your friends people are often very flaky i guess in this day and age i don't know so you need to have backups okay you need to make sure that you maybe have like three prospects of plans that could happen for the weekend but not put all your eggs in the basket of one person because if they flop you're gonna feel worse and lonelier because you're like well i made time to be social didn't work out have backup options. Some people are very spontaneous with making plans. Have those kind of people on your back end of your thoughts. Like, okay, I'm gonna make plans with the person who makes plans, but if they fall through, I'm gonna ask the friend that's super cool with being spontaneous. I mean, like, do you wanna go do something today? Do you wanna do something tonight? And you could do it that way. Or you can always keep it spontaneous. Whatever works for you, but make sure that you are, when you're planning your week, maybe making sure that you're scheduling time to be social. A great way to do this during the week, if you don't wanna just do it on weekends, is to get dinner with someone or even go for a walk. I like to go for walks with my friends to catch up, like to go for a walk at the beach, go for a walk wherever you want in the neighborhood. And it's literally just an opportunity to walk around and yap with your friends for like an hour. Perfect. It really fills the social media and it helps to get you throughout the week. If you need to like have multiple social things throughout the week, just do little things throughout the week to fill up your social bar. If you are just sitting in your own thoughts and you don't leave your apartment or you don't even text or talk to anyone, it can get very lonely, but it's different for introverts, different for extroverts. I can go a whole week without talking to someone and I'm okay. But then you hit that week in a day 
and I'm starting to lose my mind a little bit and I have to hang out with people. So it's just about scheduling in social time. That was another very long answer that didn't need to be long. Let's focus on my makeup for five seconds because I'm losing my train of thought and this is taking so much longer than it needs to. I missed a step. I always put contour in my crease. Let's see what eyeshadow I'm gonna use because I swear I use the same, but then I forget which palette it's from. So we've got my Holy Trinity here. We've got the Naked Reloaded palette, the Naked Heat, the Too Faced Better Than Chocolate. Naked Reloaded, are you my everyday? I feel like you look like you're my everyday. All right, I'm gonna take, oh, this is so old YouTube. I'm gonna take Bucked, a little bit of Bucked, a little bit of Boundaries, love her. Well, also I'm way too far away from the mirror to be knowing if I'm doing a good job. We're gonna take End Game by Taylor Swift. And I'm gonna put this, oh, I'm gonna put this on this thing. My, is that my lash line? Yes, a little lash line and then bring it up in the cut just a little bit. Intermission to talk about a very brief story time. So one time I went out with one of my guy friends who is older than me, he's 27. And he has a friend who is younger than us. And I think he's like fresh 21 or 22, I don't know. And he brought out some girlies to go with us and they were all 21 in college. They found out that I was 26 and they're like, oh my God, it's okay. It's okay that you're 26. When did 26 become geriatric? That's when I took my friend and I was like, we have to leave. I can't be, I, mm -mm. I can't be with doubters like this. I can't be with haters. Like this is, they told me I looked good for my age. It is so fast how you go from looking 16 to suddenly 21 year old girls are telling you, it's okay that you're almost 30. I am a teenager. It was a very baffling experience for me, but you know, I got through it. But I don't know how that had to do with anything or how we even got to that, but my camera's dying again. I'll be back. I like to do a little mid routine spritz. Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Party all night, stay all day. Okay, go off. All right, next we're gonna do a little, I love Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand Easy Highlighter called Glowgasm, and it's in the shade Goldgasm. Okay, girl, someone's feral. I'm gonna dollop this and really blend that hoe out because this stuff is strong. And that's the only way that I would describe it. Then also a little dollop up here too, little dollop. I'm gonna go in with more highlight because you can't stop me. This is the Smashbox Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Champagne Pop. Okay, this was a this was a thing. It was a thing. I, it's a distant memory, but I'm gonna dollop this exactly where I put the other dollops. I'm gonna gloss my brows. Is that what we call it? I don't know what we would call it. Also, super fun fact. Um, I haven't worn mascara on my upper, you know, lashes in 12 years, and I didn't know how to do it. I I actually stood there with the mascara, just like. It was like when Barbie was drinking water for the first time. That's what that was, that was that. And barrazing, but you know what? If I had to experience it, you have to hear about it. Oh yes, and this is the, ooh, it looks really dirty and ugly and I'm sorry, don't really look at it closely, but it's the Well People Expressionist Clear Brow Gel. Then what we're gonna do, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take another Well People thing. This is the Fresh Lines Eye Pencil and it's in a brown. Let's old school YouTube it. I'm gonna take this side of a brush, fluff that out, I guess, and pull it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna do mascara. That's the last part, I think. I never do anything for my lips. I just wipe off the extra foundation and then put some clear gloss, call it a day. I'm going to spray my setting spray before my mascara. I don't know why. It's I'm not used to wearing mascara. It's different for me, okay? So Urban Decay setting spray, all nighter. And my camera is dying again. So I'm gonna do mascara off camera, charge this hoe once more. I did my mascara. Usually I'll only use brown mascara and I use the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara in the color brown. I don't know, it doesn't say a color, but like look at it, it's brown. I added the Smashbox Christian Cohen Super Fan, fanned out mascara because the brush or the wand is like this. Oh, there we go, old beauty guru. The wand is like that. And I was getting a little, this hoe was clumping a little bit and I was like, girly, and I don't really know how to undo that. I mean, maybe with a, maybe with like an eyelash brush, but you know, I just was like, you know what? Let's just do a dollop of black to help separate it. I don't know. That is the final everyday makeup. It's very, is it no makeup makeup looking? I know that when I wear this makeup, which is the makeup I wear every day, most men are like, you're wearing makeup? Girl, men really don't. Men really don't. I have gone to Coachella with all men and I don't wear a shred of makeup because I don't feel like doing my makeup because we're camping, right? And they're, they don't even, they don't, they can't tell a difference really. They don't deserve 
If men think that we do makeup for them, sadly mistaken, because girl, you are not worth the amount of money that is being put on my face. That is the makeup that I wear every single time I put makeup on my face. I hope you guys enjoyed this little chatty, get ready with me everyday makeup routine. I answered as many questions as my little brain could take right now, but I hope you did enjoy this video. Uh, if you want me to do maybe more, well, my makeup routine doesn't change, but if you want me to do more videos in this fashion, getting ready, doing things, talking about that, I don't know, whatever. Let's just chat in the comments. Let's just talk about things. We'll just talk about things. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.